Precalc 12, Chapter 5.5. This time we're going to look at the laws of logarithms. These laws mirror the exponential laws, but recall uh, that logs are the exponents. These laws should not be new to you. Let's look at a slide rule. This is a physical example. So here, on this scale, we see 1.5. This is 1.5. We're reading on this scale. Here we see 2 on this scale. So log 1.5 plus log 2 equals log 3. Okay, a slide rule ignores powers of 10, so this could easily be log 15 plus log 2 equals log 30. So, I hope you see the relationship here. We have 1.5 times 2 equals 3. 15 times 2 equals 30. Okay, on this one, we just have uh, 4 divided by 8, or 40 divided by 8. So, log 40 minus log 8 equals log 5. So when we're dividing, we're subtracting exponents. When we're multiplying, we're adding exponents. So let's look at some more examples with a slide rule. We have log 2 to the power of 4 plus log 2 to the power of 5 equals log 2 to the power of 9. And on the next line, we have log 4 plus log 8 equals log 32. So the rule is we have to have the same base. So log a of x plus log a of y equals log a of x times y. Here's another rule. We have log 3 to the power of 7 minus log 3 to the power of 4 equals log 3 to the power of 3. So the next example is log 28 minus log 7. This equals log 4. And the general rule is log a of x minus log a of y equals log a of x divided by y. So these are not new rules. If you know your power rules, this should be relatively straightforward. On this last example, this is where people generally forget. So we have log. 5 to the power of 2, all to the power of 4. So this is log 5 to the power of 8. When we have a power of a power, we multiply the exponents. And this is 8 log 5. Let's do one more example. Log 6 to the power of 3 equals 3 log 6. So anytime you have a power, you can just bring it out in front of the log. So this is 8 times log 5. This is 3 times log 6. We just take the power and pull it outside. And we have our general rule here. Log a of x to the k is equal to k times log a of x. And just remember, all log laws require the same base in order to use them. Now let's look at some sample problems that you might run across. And we'll need to simplify to make one log without any powers. So this is log 15 times 2 to the power of 2, which is log 15 times 4, which is log 60. Whenever you have powers inside your logs, just expand them. This is log 72 times 7 divided by 3 to the power of 2. Okay, when you have addition and subtraction, it's best to just put all the additions into the numerator and then all the subtractions into the denominator. And this is log 72 times 7 divided by 9. Rather than multiplying 72 times 7, we're going to do mental arithmetic and do 72 divided by 9, which is 8, and 8 times 7 is 56. Next. We have log. This time we want to bring 
the multiplier inside the log. So that becomes the exponent. So this is log four to the power of three times five divided by eight. Again, we'll want to expand this and divide by eight before multiplying. Four to the power of three is 64. 64 divided by eight is eight. Eight times five is 40. And that's simpler than doing 64 times five divided by eight. Okay, here's another example. We want to expand. So we want single logs for each factor. So we need log A, log B, and log C. So this equals log A cubed minus log B squared. And we need to subtract log C because C is in the denominator. And square root, we have a power of one half. So this simplifies into three log A minus two log B minus one half log C. And I'm just using the rule here where we can bring the exponent out front. Next example, we have log of 40 divided by root seven. If you're given a composite number, you need to do the prime factorization. Okay, a composite number is simply not a prime number. So 40 is eight times five, and eight is two to the power of three, and we have seven to the power of one half, and this is all in brackets. So we can simplify this to three log two plus log five minus one half log seven. Here's two extra log laws that will help you. Log a of a equals one. Log a of a to the power of x simply equals x. And I gave you this one before, but we'll give it to you again to help you remember. Log b of one equals zero, and that's for all b greater than zero, and b does not equal one. We can change the base of a log, log a of x, changing it to log b of x, we simply do log a of x divided by log a of b. And again, we have all these restrictions. a, b, and x must be greater than zero. a and b does not equal one. One last type of question, estimate with the given values. So assuming you don't have a calculator and we're given log four is approximately 0.6 and log 13 is approximately 1.1, Determine the value of log 2704 without a calculator. If you're given this log and these two values, 4 and 13 must be factors of 2704. So we do 4 divided by 2704. This is 6 and 24, 3, 0, and we have 7, that's 28 and 24, so 676. This can be divided by four again. 676, we have one, four, two, seven, six, two, four, three, six, nine. 169 equals 13 squared. We know there's no fours left in here because this is an odd number. Therefore, log 2704 must equal log 4 squared and 13 squared. This equals 2 log 4 plus 2 log 13. Okay, finally we can substitute in our given values. Log 4 is 0.6, so we have 2 times 0.6. And we add that to 2 times log 13, which is 1.1. So this is 1.2 plus 2.2, and that's simply 3.4. And I should correctly put in approximately signs. And that completes this lesson.